Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of Exhibition Install Design. I am Abhishek from Keyframes Online. Uh, let's get started for part 2. I have already designed the table, a reception table. I want to get some nice uh, effect or you can say some nice furniture box. Select right click, take corner, select vertices, slide like this, so you can get the same generic look and feel about the design, like this. I'll just make a copy. Get a mirror. What I'll do is I'll go to what I says I'll connect this one to this class this and <clears throat> same thing I can do it over here again I can adjust like this I'll make a group in general if you take a design of this table for office use it will be not more comfortable to have something over here but in exhibition and stall designs the look and feel is much more as a first preference where uses uh, where generally people comes and sees uh, the look and feel of the stall or the products or the brochure so we have to be very very uh, think generically of the designs same thing have to reflect on the table same thing have to reflect on each and every part of the stall so that's why uh, i'm going to uh, do each and every detail in generic way I'll make a copy. Fine, this is fine. I'll ungroup this one. give you something and I'll close I'll make a copy Again, I'll take a box, auto grid on. Where we have uh, letters, company logos, or company name written over here. Now I'll merge some models. Uh, frames online.
go to group rotate it like this here will be a big LED screen is there so this will be like this and I'll go to open I don't want the stand it looks very odd some speaker arrangements group pass okay i have to group first because it's a lot more hectic than to handle small pieces I'll open now then I can handle like this I'll say geometry this geometry like this and like this and last woofer place this over here now fine I'll say group close now I'll start the texturing I'll take V-Ray I'm setting the V-Ray if you want my V-Ray adjustment you can refer to my V-Ray render setup tutorial I'll take V-Ray material again I'll go to common I'll take red say this one this one this one all the brackets will be red V 
wall slight of white color okay, and this will be a white you can say Korean material Korean white uh, slightly reflectivity will be there This one will be glass. Uh, I want refraction. So it will be a white. Total transparent. Same I can assign a new material that is will be a shiny material uh, upon this. Because it is it's much more expensive so we can't uh, take everywhere Korean material and we no need basically rather than red one reflection will be there this one this one we will assign some charts you can take as a basic material I can make a bigger one Again, I'll take next material. Same over here. Now I select television I'll just say open here I'll give an ID one is fine and rest same No problem. I'll make material ID from here. That is two. Again, this will be a different part. Will be two. Two is fine. Then I'll say group close. I'll go to material. I'll take multi sub object. discard old one 
now I want maximum two or three materials I'll select click on first I'll say I want VDA material so one is my bitmap something like this assigned and for two I'll take VDA again Like a stone, slightly reflectivity will be there on material on TV. Just to make sure how it's okay, white is there, fine, no problem. So I'll just leave it like this. Now I'll select those things if you take in account we can do much more things like we can add some wooden textures make blacky tone but right now I want only a uh, single black tone on this thing I'll just go add a material I'll say two jet black uh, then I'll just in next part I'll set camera I'll set lighting uh, I'll do the lighting part and then we'll render it and we'll go to Photoshop and for this part this is uh, this much is there and uh, see you in part 3